Welcome back to AI content creation. So we're gonna do something really, really cool. We're going to um, show you how you can do some really, really cool stuff that has just come out on ChatGBT, and it'll allow us to go and grab transcripts and create unique YouTube uh, scripts utilizing other people's videos and this is a, a step that you used to have to go and pay money for this um, of course for a long time we've known that you can go to different videos on youtube and grab uh, you could come over here if you wanted to and you could go and go to transcript and there's a lot of softwares out there that can go and grab the transcript but that does take time and copying and pasting you're going to have these um timestamps and so forth to deal with. Um, there's other uh, services as well, like rev.com that can go out there and transcribe about 95% accuracy of your videos and so forth. But this is really cool because you can use the power of ChatGPT. And if you're a ChatGPT Plus member, it's only $20 a month. It's going to save you so much money um, from having to uh, subscribe to all those other softwares that do this kind of stuff for you. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna be able to do inside of here. So we're going to go to a new chat and you're going to want to make sure that you're on chat GPT-4 because GPT-3.5 doesn't have all the plugins or anything like that. So this is only going to be a, a for GPT-4, so for plus members. Um, and really, if you're serious about your business and so forth, you're really going to want to subscribe at this point if you're going to be using chat GPT-4. Um, you know, daily in your business because GPT-4 just offers so much more. Uh, first of all, the quality is um, far much better um, and the speed has improved drastically over the last month. And then also they've introduced something recently, which is plugins. We can go over here. You can see we have some plugins already installed right here. Really cool stuff. We're going to be using that, but I'm going to show you just how you can get to it. Um, super easy, actually. If you come over here to um, these three little dots over here and you go to settings, you're going to be over here, go over here to the beta features and you just want to toggle plugins on and browse with Bing on and then that's all you have to do. Then you go to chat GPT-4 and we can go to the plugins and um, do do do. And then here's one of the tricks actually is that if you click on um, the, if you toggle the plugins that you already have installed, we have Vox script and that's the one we're going to be using, but I'm going to show you how to install it. We have SEO.app, um, WebPilot, uh, one word domains. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, click that one as well in case we want to use it as well. Oh, you can only have three of three enabled. Uh, that's something cool to learn. <laughs> you can only have three enabled at once right now. Um, but we can go over here to the plugins store and that's a secret. So once you have a multiple ones installed, you will not see the plugin store anymore. They just kind of like to kind of keep things uh, hidden from us a little bit. Like I don't think that they quite think of the navigation, um, but you have to scroll down and then go to the plugin store. Another critique that I have, I mean, uh, on another one of my YouTube channels, I review software full time and I like to look at the UI and UX of softwares. And one thing that's really funny right here is that if we go to all softwares, this is blowing up. There's 20 pages now. And literally a week ago, when I looked at this, there was only like 10 pages. So it's doubled in just the last week. And anyways, you can't find, they need to put a search bar up here that says um, like SEO and travel and um, productivity and things like that. Like we need a categorized um, menu up here and then we also need a search bar to search for things. This is just getting, uh, in my opinion, pathetic that we have to search through 20 pages just to find the right software. So that is my critique of the software, but you can come over here to popular. Vox script is one of the most popular and all you have to do is just go to the green button and push install and it's really cool. It just installs immediately. So we're gonna use Vox script because this enables us to search YouTube uh, transcripts and it's going to download the transcript for us. So we're gonna go and do that real quick. So we're gonna to go to YouTube and um, I found a video over here and I wanted it to be less than four minutes long so we can do um, kind of get through this um, without having a 10, 12 minute video, which will take a long time for the software to transcribe. But what we can do is we can um, go over here and we can look at what they're saying. And also if we push play on this, you'll see that this is unscripted. So this person on this one, I mean, ideally, if you want a nice scripted, um, 
you know, a scripted video, you'll know the difference between the two, the production value and everything is just different. Like right now, the way that I'm recording this video, it's unscripted. I'm teaching something and I'm going off the cuff, if you will. Um, and this is what this video is doing as well. But this is actually a really cool, I think um, this will work with any kind of YouTube video, especially if it's polished and scripted already and the voiceover was professionally done and so forth. But for videos like I'm recording right now, and then what this uh, person right here is doing on this video, it's perfect because we can get the transcription and then we can um, ask ChatGPT4 to rewrite it for us professionally. And um, it's going to not have ums and ahs in there and it's not gonna have, um, you know, it's going to polish it and make it look really nice. So what we can do is we can take this URL up here um, of the video the URL, right? And we can go to GPT-4 and you can see we have all those and uh, GPT-4 is gonna know which application to use. If you wanna just make sure that it uses the application, you can uh, toggle these off and just have Vox script. But you'll see that I have these three on here and it's still gonna know what to do. So we can say, um, please transcribe this video. And then we can literally just paste that in and push enter. And then it's going to go to work here in a second for us. See, now a Vox script is now running in the background. It's going to that URL and then it's going to grab that transcript. And then while it's doing that, I'm gonna take this over here, the actual video, and I'm going to make it a little smaller on my screen. And you can see it is writing and did it finish right there, all right, as always. So I wanna to go to the transcript over here in YouTube. You can see right over here on the right-hand side. I just wanna see if that last part leads just for you, leads just for you. So it is done. It did it all in one, because it's a short video. Um, it did. It was able to do the whole thing without us having to say continue or anything like that. So we can test uh, out the accuracy um, of this, we'll just go scroll to the top right over here. So here's the transcription. So welcome back, my friends. This is Lindsay, and I am back with another work from home job lead for you. Welcome back, my friends over here on YouTube. And I am back with another work from home job lead um, with this one. Okay, so it's it's very accurate. Uh, 157 reviews right over here. Heritage auctions has 157 reviews. Okay, so what's cool is now you don't want to take this entire transcript right here and just go and record it and and then make a video out of it. The problem with that is that it's complete copying and you'll, you won't you will be able to monetize your content or your YouTube uh, channel. It's just too risky. Yes, you can get away with it for some time, but it is risky and it is absolutely not following YouTube guidelines or best practices because you literally are stealing somebody else's transcript. But what you could do is take this and then you could um, do some prompting now and you could say something like, um, now please rewrite this content in a professional, catchy, engaging, and engaging style. Break it up with subheadings. Write from a pers uh, from a write as if you are expert job hunter. End the and then right here we'll put end the video with a call to action to sign up with the job posting site talked about video something like that right so you can see that this is my prompt now please rewrite this content in a professional catchy and engaging style break it up into different sections with subheadings write as if you are an expert job hunter end the video with a call to action to sign up with the job posting site talked about in this video and i just came up with this just myself right now and we're going to push enter right here We'll come down and see what we're going to do. And now it's going to use the SEO.app, right? So it's going to use plugins uh, in sync with uh, ChatGPT4. And so it's almost like using ChatGPT4 as if ChatGPT4 wasn't already good enough. Um, it's like putting uh, something that's already taking steroids and then, uh, you know, it's like doubling down, if you will. So it's just crazy what uh, technology we have right now. And you can see how much I use uh, ChatGPT. I can scroll through here. I mean, I'm using this daily in my business to do all kinds of different things, to send in marketing emails, to create YouTube video scripts, uh, to do all kinds of different things in my business. To um, I'm doing a lot of website type content and it helps me. I don't write full articles using ChatGPT. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more tools with you on what I use, but um, I do use it to um, help 
help me with outlining and to help with keyword research and assigning keywords to um, what category on the website it should be. So, I mean, it's just insane what it's able to do. And you can see how well it's uh, rewriting this for us, right? And then we could maybe go to a site and just say something like uh, check similarity of content. Um, I guess really uh, we should probably just go to Grammarly because Grammarly, a lot of YouTube scripts are not going to be plagiarized because they're not published on sites. But I will show you, we will look at the quality of the article, right? So we have, uh, let's go back up to the original content that was the straight um, script from the video. And we're going to come up here and grab this right here, okay? We're going to copy, copy that come back over here and we're going to paste it in. I'm going to put that welcome back up on there. All right, we're going to paste it in right here into Grammarly. We're going to get a 68 score right here. And you can see that there are 52 suggestions right here on this unscripted script right here. Okay, so we've got a 68. And then I'm going to go over here and open up another Grammarly. And this is Grammarly Pro that we're using here. Um, I'm gonna go back over here and what's gonna, we're gonna see what ChatGPT did, Chat did for us using um, a couple of different plugins right here. We used one plugin to get the script, Vox script, and then we use another plugin, seo.app, um, which is discover a rewarding work from home opportunity with heritage auctions. And that's what it came up with for its title it's definitely not as clickbaity over here, um, and so we might want to work on that. But it, um, but it, it knew what to gather as far as the title of it because that's what it's what's talked about in the video. It's pretty intelligent. So, welcome to your next exciting career adventure. We're here to introduce you uh, to a unique work from home to job opportunity that uh, not only offers the comfort of working from your own space, but also the thrill of being part of an international auction house heritage auction a non-phone role that matches your skills. This role is perfect for those who prefer non-phone tasks as an image uh, pr proofer. So it really goes in, it breaks this up. You could do each one of these could be a scene in your YouTube video. It's just doing it really nicely for us, okay? So we can come over here and um, we can grab this and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the entire thing and we're gonna go over to Grammarly and see what the quality is going to be um, versus the the two, right? So we're gonna get a 97 score right here with only seven um, suggestions that, that are needed, right? So that is the difference between the script um, right there, that is uh, the script that we pulled from YouTube, is a 68 score on content, right? It's unscripted, there's probably ums and ahs in it, and it's not organized uh, very well. Even like the video I'm doing right now, it's not as organized. If someone took this video and did this exact same thing with it, they would get a better video to t completely be honest with you. Um, so you could come over here, and if you're gonna do these faceless YouTube channels, and you could go out and use this content to go and create a really easy video, you could take this script right here and go into a software called Pictory. Um, and you could go and paste this in in Pictory and create a video within five minutes. And you could have a really good, um, a good video production at 97 score, only seven AI suggestions, just nuts, right? So I'm going to check the plagiarism on either of these on both of these. I don't know if this one, if any of them are plagiarized, it would be this one right here. Um, no, this one's at 1%, so, or a 6% plagiarism right there and a 9% right there. So, um, under, you know, 15%, or under 20% isn't going to be a concern period, but this is completely rewritten content, um, that is not from the original. So this would be a great way to go and grab other people's, uh, YouTube transcripts, but then rewrite it completely with higher quality, which is just insane. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Any of the links and the tools that I'm using, of course, chat GPT, um, you can just go to open AI and you can sign up for your chat GPT account. Um, the $20 a month is a plus membership. Um, if you want access to the tools that we used, which was uh, seo.app and the Vox, uh, Vox script and so forth, you're going to have to be a plus member to use those. But until next time, I will see you later.